So what a good girl. It's not the story at all, man. Fuck Ooh. that song. Bobby. The buddy. It's haul time, bitches. On the subject of bitches, <laughs> we captured one today. <laughs> yeah. And now that sounds bad, but what I mean by that is we actually captured a dog. That sounds violent. Yeah. <laughs> But the point is, the dog was a bitch, as it is a female. Yeah, and we and, grabbed uh, it. We grabbed it, we snatched it, and tried to give it a home, but it was pretty dirty, you see? Yeah. And we are like, uh, well, this and is very a, hairy. Very hairy. So we had to give it a little bath and uh, a little snip. A, a, <laughs> a little snip and clip of its matted fur later, and it's got no tip <laughs> of the tail. <laughs> and it's bleeding. Like, Geysers of blood. <laughs> pretty good when I snip dog tails. I mean, I don't know if this dog's going to make it to the night, but our hearts were in the right place. Yeah. But I did, in fact, snip the tip of that dog's tail. Unfortunately, good intentions do not make for living dogs yes. in this situation. I'm, uh, I'm hoping, though, I'm praying to Cthulhu here that uh, all things will settle and then the dog will survive. It's not that bad. It's not as bad as it sounds. It's pretty bad. Yeah, it's really bad. But, uh, yeah, man, uh, if Cthulhu doesn't work out for us, you did get us a suitable replacement of a false idol we can worship. Yeah. <laughs> and that is, and I got to say, kudos to you, sir. You got us the guy, Paddington. Yep. Paddington the fucking bear, man, the in the house. Film. Paddington. Pretty good, man. Now, whenever we watch Paddington in unison, we can not only hug him, sandwich him between us yeah, as, we, as we do it, but we can actually... Put in the old DVD and or Blu-ray and or digital. Yep. And just, uh, you know, have a little view there. You know, it's a good thing we, you got that because uh, I kind of got that too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you want a copy of Paddington, <laughs> yeah. I guess we got an extra one. Now, I don't only have that copy. I also have this one, <laughs> <laughs> which comes with three copies. <laughs> so, uh, all right. Well, I guess we're going to have a raffle somewhere along the way. Yeah, that's pretty good, right? Yeah. Here's another one. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, I'm man? A pretty big Paddington fan. So look, we're we're one Paddington away from a full deck of batting tie. I also don't have any part twos, so that's a thing. Anyway, yeah, man. The, <laughs> if, you, if you want Paddington, we got you covered. In fact, you want Padding? You want a copy of Paddington? Let us know in the comments below. Maybe you'll be the lucky guy to get Paddington. Gross. On the other end of the spectrum, I could give you a Street Fighter, The Legend of Chun-Li, <laughs> and you'll hate me forever. That's a good one. I like how you're covering the price tag on that of zero cents. No, that's... Oh, God. Why'd you pay that much? No, nah, I didn't pay that much. This was when uh, when uh, Movie Gallery was going out of sale. This was years ago, mind yeah. you. It's not part of the haul. No. But this is a piece of shit movie, of course. But I got it. I don't know why I got it. Anyway, let's start the haul proper here. Snip dog tails aside, there are some good things we got. Well, let's start with yours. What, what flicks did you get? Flicks and, and, and video games, apparently, by the looks of it. Yeah, Boondock Saints 2, because it was a cent. Boondock Saints apparently 2. apparently there's a director's cut. Yeah, man. We actually enjoyed Boondock Saints 2 quite a bit. Well, at least I did. I don't remember. Yeah, it was pretty rad. Uh, I know some people didn't dig it, but uh, we sure did. So 20 more minutes can either be disastrous or great. Yeah, that's a I good don't point. Know. Wish I would have seen this, because I would have gotten it. Yep. Next. Got Fr uh, Frankenstein, uh, Franz Kronstein. Franz Kronzenstein yeah. is uh, is a hit. Of course, this is the James Will classic. Of course, uh, can't go wrong with it. I really like the cover, and now unfortunately, I think it is a steel book, so that this is gonna instantly snap in three. Yep. But the cover's pretty rad. What is this? Flashpoint Paradox. Yep. All right. I liked it. It was two dollars. Unfortunately, it's a DVD, but two dollars. Yeah, can't beat that. Speaking of two dollars, two dollars. Has Batman Beyond. Batman Sub Zero. Oh, and Batman Beyond. That's pretty much the only reason I got it. Yeah. Batman Beyond movie. And I also got the order. Now, this baby was uh, $5. I want to put that out there because this is one of those that was hated by everyone. I do understand why. It's super short, like literally four hours long. And it's not really even a game, it's more like a movie. Mm -hmm. With interactive moments. But I kind of liked it. It was five bucks. Five bucks was a good yeah. price. I enjoyed it. It's a good idea. Need, not a great execution. Need a change of pace for 70,000 hour games? Yeah. Brad Frankenstein. Brad Frankenstein. This is my favorite old school Franken flick. I would humper. Yeah, I'd definitely humper, that's for sure. Point hair. is, if you want a, a, a Frankenstein movie with a ton of gay subtext, this is the one to go to. And big hairs. And big, big hair, pubic hairs, unfortunately. Yeah. 
Well, I got some flicks too, and by some, I mean tons, apparently. Yeah. Now, I've been clever about my purchases. Yeah, mine Very clever. clever. They're pretty cheap. Well, they're all right. <laughs> I got a lot of Paddingtons. Yeah, the Paddington kind of took you out of the running for clever. To be fair, all those Paddingtons were less than 15 bucks. Nevertheless, tons of Paddingtons. <laughs> padding tons, in fact. Yep. Anyway, yeah, I, you know, if you look around, you find the right prices. And I found the right prices. So this is uh, Annabelle Creation, the sequel, which is actually a prequel to the sequel. Yep. Which is a sidequel to a sequel. Which is a prequel, actually. Yeah. So there you go. So, <laughs> yeah, this is pretty good. This is the one you enjoyed, I believe. I like it. Uh, yeah, I, I like the first one, too, though. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I don't care what anybody says. Here's a classic. Oh, Guillermo del Toro, yep. I call him. And he hates me for it. Yeah, Guillermo del Toro's uh, take on Hellboy. A favorite of ours, yep. I gotta say. Hoping the new one doesn't stink, but at least we got this. Yeah, at least treasure. we got that. And uh, this, however, I had to get this. Look, came to a dilemma because I wanted Candyman. Yeah. Candyman is one of my favorite movies ever. Clyde Tony, Barker, of course. Tranny, Tony, Tony, Tranny Todd, yeah. But it was 34 fucking bucks, so I yeah. could make a choice of getting that one. Or a bunch of trannies. Or a bunch of cool shit, or pseudo cool shit in some cases. Uh, this really was a deciding factor, the fact that I found Exorcist on Blu-ray. The extended director's cut. This is one of my favorite movies of all time. It goes without saying. It's one of the best. And if you don't like it, I'll kick you in the nuts. But, uh, yeah, man. Had to get that. I mean, fuck. I hear Pazuzu's a pretty cool guy. He's a pretty cool cat. I like when he, you know, controls winds. Yeah. Uh, Insidious Chapter 3. It was, it was cheap. So that's why I got it, really. This is the lesser of the Insidious sequels. But it's still pretty good on its own, you know. It's just not as good as as 2 and 4. Fun fact, Pazuzu's got massive dong. He does have a massive dong. I know that. I, I, I stroked it. God. Speaking of stroking dongs, I'm sure Herbert West did it a few times with some corpses. <laughs> you won't see it in this cut, though. It's horrible. <laughs> this, is, uh, the, uh, this is the Arrow video release of Bride of Reanimator. A sequel to the Reanimator. Uh... Reanimate your bones. This is usually like a $40 DVD. More if you won't get the three DVD set. Or yeah. the three, I'm sorry, DVD Blu-ray. If you get the three Blu-ray set, which which really is pointless. Mm. I mean, they give you the R-rated cut <clears throat> and a little crappy comic book. Give a shit about that. I just want the fucking unrated movie. This is what it gives me. That's right, Marcus. Unrated fucking movie. Fucking 10 bucks, dude. Can't beat that. I don't understand what that was. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a favorite. Drag Me to Hell yep. from Sam Raimi. I mean, come on, man. Yeah, it's pretty good. Now, I could have gotten it's the... It's got a badass hag. Yeah, a badass hag. I could have gotten the uh, Shout Factory one, but that would have cost me an arm and a fucking leg, and apparently mm. has some color issues. Mm. So I'll just go with the standard copy. Hag's it does a... have the unrated version. A hag's Marcus. A... a hag's a hag. A hag's a hag, indeed. Speaking of hags, this has none. <laughs> <laughs> and that's uh, Two Evil Eyes, also known as Dio Ochi Diabolici. Oh, damn it. That's right. Forgot yeah. about that. <laughs> it's an anthology film from George A. Romero. Yes, the living dead guy. And Dario Argento, a.k.a. the guy that, uh, you know, was super cool and then he sucked all of a sudden. Looks like Pavlos. Very underappreciated, by the way, this fucking movie. I don't even remember it. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah. I, I don't remember it well, but I remember really liking it. Yeah, it... Is uh, it unrated? Yeah, it's it is unrated. I'm so, so... <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it's an adap- it's two adaptations of Edgar Allan Poe stories, mm. but by these fellas, by Pavlos and Co. A little ears that you in case you're wondering. Found this little sucker for Nathan. That's what I love about Dollar General, man. Little monkeys. <laughs> you know, you can buy a big ass monkey for two bucks. <laughs> you know what I like? Mm. That when we go, it smells like freaking feces. Yeah, well, you know the monkeys are flinging feces around. But yeah, this is uh, Peter Jackson's King Kong, which I don't give a shit what anybody says. I really enjoyed this. It took the, me back to my childhood. The longer version? Yeah, has cool. both of them. And uh, you gave me this actually, so this didn't really count as a purchase. Franz Kronstein. Franz Kronstein, the, uh, <laughs> the Kenneth Branagh version, yeah. which is which is my second favorite version of the story. Uh, it used to be my first favorite, but yeah, I, I love this movie. Robert Nero is the monster. That's weird. The fuck is going on, man? And he did a good job, too. Kenneth Branagh casting himself. Now, That's not weird. Again, another Dollar General find. Yeah. Hellboy 2. <laughs> That's all I got to say. I love it. <laughs> little horns. I don't want to suck on his little horns. Yep. Can't wait till a new one stinks. And I finally bit the bullet on this one, man. I haven't seen 
the final cut of Blade Runner, but I'm, I'm just gonna fuck it. I'm just gonna. I've only ever seen the theatrical cut, the first one. So I'm just gonna. That's it, man. Fuck it. I'm, I'm not gonna pay seven thousand dollars for one with every single cut yeah, in it. It's a bit overkill. Might as well point. go with the one that links to the new one. True. So fucking. Plus, really, Scott, it's not gonna disappoint me, except for that one time. Legend. The fuck. Hey, Another that's legend. Nah, it's not great, It's man. got a good hag? It's got a good hag, yeah. That's about it. <laughs> Legends got a good hag. Yeah. The end. Uh, speaking of hags, this ain't got one because Emma Stone's far from a hag. Emma Stone? I mean, Emma Stone, uh, Emma Watson's far from a hag. Yeah. But I guess, uh, you know, that fucking teapot lady counts as a, as a fucking hag. Yeah, she's pretty cool. Point is, we'll go with the teapot as a hag. Uh-huh. And uh, again, another dollar uh, general fine. I like that. I will say it was used. That's the only way I'm ever gonna buy oh, yeah. a Disney DVD. Disney freaking DVDs are ripoffs. It was used and it was super cheap, and I was like, "That's still unusual," because usually they're like ten bucks yep. used. But it's because the DVD is destroyed in the middle. That's good. Uh, but I don't care. I'm not gonna see the DVD, so fuck that. I'm gonna see the Blu-ray. I love, like that gay love guy this in movie. It. Yeah, he was fucking gay as shit, wasn't he? Hashtag he was gay as shit. Speaking of used Disney movies. Oh. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Felt like watching it. I remembered I saw it at Dollar General. Went and got it. Chronicle. I don't remember if I, and I, if I showed this in another haul or not, but if I didn't, here it is. If you haven't seen this, it's a found footage movie. It's a superhero movie or, you know, a comic book movie that's not based on a comic book. Yeah. Very loyal to the ideas found in comics awesome movie man uh also just got to point out for marcus uh this is the director's cut which means it's uncut and unrated speaking of unrated cult of chucky this is look cult and curse are which i also got by the way curse are my favorite chucky movies yeah i really like the latest one because it was freaking weird these two, good these two are my absolute favorite Chucky movies. I wish they would have continued this series beyond that. But really, it feels concluded after Cult in some respects. So that's okay. I love those movies. They're, they're awesome. Next is a movie that a lot of people... Why did you just disappear? What is this? I'm reaching. Continue. Man, this is... I wish you guys could see this. He's literally using a reaching stick. Like a character out of The Simpsons. It's the most expensive reaching stick I've ever used. Anyway, uh, speaking of expensive reaching sticks, that's what you're going to need to use after they chop your legs and, and arms off. That's the worst. If you're in Texas, because, <laughs> because of the Chainsaw <laughs> Massacre, that is. This is the remake from, uh, you know, Michael Bay produced it, so everybody hated it before it even came out. Mm-hmm. And uh, he didn't direct it, though. Marcus Nispel did. Marcus? But uh, Yeah, Marcus <laughs> Nispel did. And uh, that's who I'm talking to, by the way, this whole time. Uh I don't hate this, man. I'm a huge Texas Chainsaw fan, and I actually really enjoy the remake. I thought it was really good. Uh, not as good as the prequel to this, but it was it was pretty awesome, man. I actually liked that, so fuck you fans that hate it. Fuck you up your stupid asses. Speaking of remakes, here's one that surprisingly was not hated by everyone, yeah. despite everyone deciding beforehand that they were going to hate it. That is weird, isn't it? Yeah, but I mean, sometimes you can't deny genius. And I'm not saying Texas Chainsaw Magic was genius, don't get me wrong. It's not the remake. But this, this was actually a genius remake. Uh, Evil Dead, the remake from Fede Alvarez. Uh, this is, Marcus, the unrated cut. <laughs> And uh, let me tell you something, man. We went through a ordeal getting yeah. you. Yeah. You ordered from this for me last month. From Marvelio. You know? Yeah. And uh, apparently this is the hardest to find Blu-ray of all time. It recently got released. Yeah. It, it, I, I ordered it. And then like a week later, it was unavailable on Amazon. Mm-hmm. Like all of Amazon. I've, ne- I, I've yet to see a, a legitimate seller. Not even boutique sellers. Sell this. It's always secondhand yeah. sellers. Randos random people and they're they running out quick so really got lucky that this even showed up a month yeah, later a month forever. and a half they might be sending another one which is cool by the way i, I just got to point out the unrated cut is fucking awesome er speaking of movies that should be unrated <laughs> for marcus is uh it's is, the movie that should suck massive dangling given who's involved yeah but yeah. it's actually cool this is uh yeah this is uh uh, Eli Roth production. Thankfully, he didn't direct it. But uh, yeah, this was really cool, man. Found footage movie style. More like a documentary style. Uh, but I love exorcism movies. So 
this did it justice. This did both the genres justice. Yeah. I really like that movie. Fun fact, all the people involved went on to make garbage. Oh, yeah. Except for Eli Roth. Oh, wait. Yep. Went on to make mega garbage. Yep. This is an old favorite, of course. Robert Rodriguez's Planet Terror. He stole Classic. my idea. Classic. Brian, it was not very original. Speaking of not original, here's a sequel to a bunch of sequels. Land of the Dead from George Romero. I really love this movie, man. It's got John Leguizamo, doesn't it? Yeah, John Hell Le- yeah. Johnny Legs, Dennis Hopper, Ozia, I Raped the Boy Argento. Ozia, my dad clearly banged me and I liked it, Argento. Yeah, she's a weird cat. Yeah, it's not good. Was anybody surprised she banged anyone? Nope. Not me. I was anyway. surprised, yeah. I was surprised it didn't come out earlier. Yeah. Land of the Dead is, is fucking awesome. Eat, eat my dust, ass weeds. <laughs> I will to? say that this Land of the Dead <laughs> is, it unrated? is unrated, by oh. the way, and uncut. It's the only way I would buy that. Uh, speaking of unrated, I don't know what this uh, what this running gag is, but I'm totally going to, going with it. <laughs> uh, speaking of unrated director's cuts, the best way to see a film. Here's uh, <laughs> the Midnight Meat Train. This is an adaptation of a short story from Clyde Barker. It's sharp and brutal, and uh, it's fucking badass, man. If you haven't seen this, go check it out right now. It also has an early. Um, uh, Bradley Cooper appearance before he was a freaking before raccoon. Was, yeah, before he was raccoon guy. That's right. That's his name in the, yeah. Marvel, in the Marvel universe. Raccoon guy in the Marmaduke universe. So yeah, man, those are my my uh, filmic purchases. Filmic? Yeah, I just made that up. Freaking was hoping you'd go with it. You didn't. You betrayed me. Uh, what else you got there? Here you see. I see you got some Muzak. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Let's start off with the best. By the way, hold on. Let me point this out. All this right here. Two cents. Box full of this. Less than 50 bucks. Yeah. I mean, by, by a dollar or two, but still. You know, all those panties I got, less than 15 bucks. You there's, shot on me for that. There's no excusing the 10,000 panties. Is it not the greatest film ever? Quite possibly, yes. But Freaking that's case not the point. closed. Next. The, be- the best music purchase I've ever made, John Anderson. Um, uh, a chicken truck, chicken truck is all I got to say. Or should I say, a chicken truck, chicken truck. John Anderson's a guy. Yeah, he's got he's, a bunch of cool tunes yeah, I like. He's a pretty cool cat, except for that chicken truck song, yeah, which really sucks shit. dong. But it's got the songs I, I dig. It was a scent as well. Uh, the Who. I did listen to the first half of this. Mm-hmm. I kind of like it, but it's very weird. Yeah, it's not for everybody. Very bizarre, in a good way. The Who again? This is an actual album, not just a compilation. It's got Baba Yaga song in there, so that's cool. Yeah, Baba, <laughs> Baba Yaga is a song to, to jam to. You got Chicken Feet. Somebody out there is like, Baba Yaga, I gotta go look at yeah, that song. I never heard that one. <laughs> the soundtrack to Man on the Moon. Yeah. Which is one of my favorite movies. It's got a buttload of R.E.M. songs, which you said weren't great. Yeah. But uh, I kind of remember liking this soundtrack. Yeah. So I bought it. And no, Plus it's not... got the Tony Clifton... Uh, a sung version of that stupid song. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that's pretty great. I'm not hating on R.E.M. I was just never buy an album from them. Myself. Uh, I just noticed something uh, a little bit worrying. Oh, yeah, you left it in the vehicle. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was about to say. Uh, yeah, but, but the case stands, and that is a Social Distortion Greatest Hits. Yep. I don't know how people decide what the greatest hits of a pretty underground punk band is. Yeah, I always wondered that. I mean, mind you, they had some radio play. And some of these is like yeah, story of my like, life. Some of those know. like really low. Yeah. Like how do you Who, pick Who's ones? the guy that goes. That was a good these one. These are the greatest hits. Anyway, pretty good picks there. Uh, next, uh, let's go with a little, uh, this thing that, uh, you know, I've actually got this like a few months ago. Squid. But uh, I keep forgetting because it was hidden somewhere. Now, the box is pretty cool. <laughs> so that's it. I got a box. I like box. It's a carafe. It says... A giraffe? But, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a big cthulhu Oh, little mug. A uh, mug. Pretty cool, man. I like that. You know, I like that, says Garth. Next. Uh, I got this here, a Superman from Kingdom Come. Yeah. Put, old, old ass Superman, to be precise. I put this baby aside like 50 months ago, finally paid it off. Yeah, it took you a while, but yep. uh, you're, you're almost there. I've been, I mean, you got there. I got, I've been meaning to get a cool Superman fig, but they're surprisingly hard to find. Yeah, they really are. A lot of stinkers, but we found this one. It's pretty rad. I wish the Batman weren't a, wasn't $175. That's the only thing I got to say. But at least I got a cool-ass Batman. That's all right. Superman. This, this, uh, just looking at the picture of Batman back here, it doesn't look really cool. All the other ones do, though. 
Yeah. Which is weird. Except like, for Robin. He looks like ass. I would suck thick. off Batman is the only thing I'm saying. Speaking of sucking off Batman. This is a bat that you definitely sucked. Yep. And this is angry ass looking Batman. <laughs> yeah. A little insane looking. This is the Lee Bermejo series. Uh, he's an artist. For those of you who are going, who? And that's everyone. Yep. Um, Including me and I bought it. Yeah. It looks like you're going to finally get a cool cape with your Batman. Yeah. The only thing that I'm a little worried about is that these DC collectibles are very hit and miss with their uh, articulation. Sometimes they're, you know, spot on. They don't break. Other times you take them out and they literally explode into 15,000 pieces. So I'm hoping this is one of the more stable ones. Yeah. And if not, might open a black hole. If all else fails, you got a damn Clint Eastwood faced uh, Batman. Next, I would see this, that. Uh, this Coringa. Yeah, I got a Coringa. That's it. That's it. Coringa. <laughs> Big ass Coringa. Gave him a little knife. This is from one of those lame ass, uh, you know, like kid oriented big figures, but yep. it actually kind of looks okay. Yeah, surprisingly. Dusty is a mug all of a sudden. Yeah. Next. Because it's your pickle, Rick. What is this? Previews exclusive? Yeah, with the one that's actually just a pickle. I like it. It's just a pickle. You know, before everybody ruined Rick and Morty, this was cool. Yep. I mean, it's still a cool show. Yeah. But they suck. I got this, which was actually yours. Yeah. You threw it in the trash, and I was like, all right, I get it. I picked this up because I thought I didn't have this. Like, I like to collect different covers of my favorite books. Like Frankenstein, Dracula, etc. Had it. Yep. So might as well pass it on to someone. Thom Jones says it's pretty look, good. And look, you have no excuse not to read it. Thom. It's like one fucking inch thick. No, it's not even an inch thick. It's like half an inch thick. It's the size of my ding It's pretty fucking short. There's no excuse. I mean, I read uh, Jurassic Park. You gotta give me some credit. Zero credit given. Speaking of credit, you have to put this on credit because you ran out of cash. <laughs> I just made that up yep. for a segue. Uh, yeah, this is a uh, old crapos, I, I like to call it. I do want to say I had the chance to get this several times we've gone to the mall mm -hmm. and played the game. Uh, recently played the game. I was like, yep, got to freaking buy this shit because the game kicks ass. Not going to lie, the game uh, I got also was part of this haul. It's just digital, so I can't bring it. Mm -hmm. 15 bucks. Uh, I'm not a man who is moved by media. Kind of touching, that game. Kinda That's touching. gay. I'm not a man who is moved by media. Yeah, I don't cry in movies and shit like that. Except for La La Land. Exactly. I freaking bawled like a little bitch in that. Balling like a mug. But that is the only movie. Trying to tough it out and shit. The only, Balling. The only movie I've ever cried in is freaking La La Land and T2 when I was a kid. And I was pretty close to crying in Paddington 2. Nonetheless, this little game, kind of touching. Which is weird because I'm used to freaking Kratos just yelling. So what you're saying here is... A Greek man touched you. Yep. In the butt. Speaking of Greek men. <laughs> damn, <laughs> damn it. There is no segue That's there. The horror. Let's move on to books. Uh, I found another copy of the Dark Half. I already have a copy of Dark Half. You want a copy of the Dark Half? <laughs> Let us know. Uh, no, I won't give that away. We will be doing a Stephen King giveaway at some point. Yep. But, uh, you know, you need a few more followers. For if, if you're literally a trash can, then you already won. Yep. Yeah, pretty much... Uh, any common will do. <laughs> anyway, the dark half. And I did find a copy of The Stand without a fucking dust jacket, which sucks. But I didn't have a copy of The Stand dark cover. Unfortunately, this is not the uncut version. So, uh... That's a thing. That's a thing. But, you know, whatever. I'll, I'll take it. It was, uh, one millicent. Yep. So, speaking of millicents, you got some, uh, comics that are pretty cheap considering how thick they are. Yeah, that's true. This uh, Batman 100-page comic, you've been collecting these. Yeah, I decided to start getting them because I missed all, out on the first two. These are reprints, that. and uh, they're available at Walmarts, and it's a good only. way to... Yeah, Walmarts only. It's, it's a good way to catch up on stuff. Yeah, they're currently do a running all of Hush in each issue, so that's cool. Mm -hmm. It's a cool way to get them. Next, we got uh, Batman the Max, number one. You've been looking for this. Yeah, we found it. Big ass toofs. Yep. Uh, then we got the DC Universe Halloween Special 2010. You know, the uh, current year, 2010. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, this was a, an old one. I, yeah. I was like, wait, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Monsters and shit. The next is a 
shit ton of fucking... Well, actually, there was more, but uh, you have to leave some behind. Yeah. A crap ton of uh, Judge Dredd reprints. Now, I kind of want... I don't know if I got any DC ones, but I kind of wanted to just get one from every uh, publishing company because it seems like everyone on Earth has released Judge Dredd at a certain point. And it's just kind of cool to have one from each one. Yeah. Like a, the, the cover um, templates they all use. I ended up getting a bunch of them, unfortunately. Now, this was one of my favorite things uh, back when I was a youngin'. And it was the annuals that they would publish that were Elseworlds annuals. So you got the one from Catwoman. Feline Blast. And uh, Shadow of the Bat. So you gotta let me read those because those are things that I used to read when I was a kid. And this was cool. I wish I were, you know, uh, I could go back in time and keep my copies of this crap. But uh, this is uh, Legend of the Dark Knight 1 through 5, I want to say. Yeah, 5 and then 6 through 11. So that's pretty awesome. This is a cool series. This, I mean, what I loved most about it was, one, the story, the writing was good. And then it didn't fucking drag you through 10 billion issues like X-Men, dude. Every oh, single yeah. issue, like, come on, man. I realize this is a monthly thing, but fuck, man. Can, can we finish a story somewhere? Yeah. I'm telling you, we, uh, in the more uh, earlier we were talking about all the X-Men comics that I had because of you. It ended up being the series I read the most and the series I disliked the most. Because mm -hmm. it's like, oh, man, nothing's happening. Yeah. It keeps on going. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I love the old shit, but fuck. Uh, I found a couple comics for myself, and that's... Uh, uh, Clive Barker Saint Sinner number five and six. Of course, I collect anything Clive Barker related, and uh, this was a cool series back in the day. I wish I could have found more of them, but shit, I'll take it. Clive Barker's gay man. Very, very gay man, writing very gay books. No, they're not gay. Mm. I mean, they're gay by kind default of. of him being gay, yeah, but like, but they're pretty badass. There's books. some gayness in there. He went to he went on to to produce a movie called Saint Sinner. It had nothing to do with this. All right. Anyway, I think that's it for the haul this month. Tell us what you think about this. If you do want a Paddington copy, do let us know. And uh, we might just be able to do that. Crazy sad. Boo. Anyway, hit like, share, subscribe, and those notification buttons. Tell us what you've gotten today, this month. What should we get? We probably won't afford it, but uh, let us know anyway. Because we're out. These music stupid sounds all kinds of shit for you. Anything goes inside the night, one cup of coffee and juice. Two days, moon, six, so good times, all kinds of shit for you.